Hello everybody, welcome to those videos. Thanks for joining me. I'm continuing my little series, my little throwback Thursday series. Where on a Thursday I go back into the archives and I see what I had, what I reviewed on video over two years ago. Uh, and we have another look at it and we'll just see, has the bit changed? Have I changed? Do I still think about it the same way that I once did? Uh, it's been interesting so far. Um, a lot of the bigger brewers, and this is one of them, when I first did this, a little over two years ago, it's five point four percent. It's now five point. It's been five point two percent for a little while. To be fair with you, um, but yeah, my, my taste buds, 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 my taste buds have changed a little bit as of some of the beers. So yeah, it's, it's been, it has been a really interesting little um, series so far. So this is Bishop Stringer. It's a strong Kentish ale, as they call it. I'd probably call it a um, extra strong bitter. Extra strong beer and use this one. Like I say this one comes in at uh 5.2% ABV. Originally, when I did this, it was 5.4. Originally, I scored this, originally, I scored this eight and a half out of ten. Um, but it was my f it was one of the first ones, it wasn't the first couple of months of me, of me reviewing. Over the years, this is a beer I keep going back to. It's readily available in, in most supermarkets. And over the years, it has been knocked down to 7.5% uh, out of 10. So, let's see what it's like today. I've always liked the label. I've always liked, I don't know why, it's something reassuring, I think, about the label on this one. And I don't, I don't, honestly don't know what it is. Boom, boom, that way. Right, so that has poured a clear, dark chestnut colour with a just off white head. Bubbly head looks like it'll disappear any second now, and some some nice carbonation out there. Some fine, slow moving carbonation. Still got a bit of a cold, but the nose is working fine. So let's get an official stifter. It's rich, it's malty. Nice little toffee flavour in there. A bit fruity. I always get the mixture with fruits here. I always get like a little bit of apple coming through sometimes, sometimes like a bit of raisin sometimes. It smells nice though. Right. I keep putting down because I'm always scared I'm oh this glass is just gonna slip through my fingers. Right. Uh, looks all right. Smells all right. It's tasty. Show. Cheers, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's nice. It's it's a decent um, beer. Don't think I mentioned from Shepherd Neem. I think a lot of people know that anyway. It's a decent, uh, decent bit. It follows the nose a little bit. It's rich, it's malty, a little bit of toffee flavour coming through. Even at 5.2%, it does taste quite strong. It tastes more than the 5.2. But I always get. Somebody who knows their beers better than me might know why. But this is one of those beers. I do get a little bit of uh, warmth through it from it. It feels like a nice winter beer. It feels like it's going to give a little bit of warmth. Uh, I like it. It's a little bit of dark fruit flavour. I say I always say that I get a little bit of a, a mixture between kind of apple and and dark fruit. Um, so yeah, a little bit of raisin, a little bit of plum maybe, there's a little bit of um, it's a bit nutty, a little bit floral but 
but it's decent enough brew. Um, so it's malty, it's fruity, a little bit of spice on the back end. It's really tasty, it's really tasty. It's a bit of fruit in the aftertaste. And a gentle, uh, yeah, just a little, um, it's short lived, but it's almost like a little bit of um, caramel flavour in the aftertaste as well. And just a really gentle bitterness. I like it, I do like it. I do like it, I might bump it up a little bit. Um, so I've been scoring it 7.5%, 7.5%, why do you keep saying that? I do keep scoring it uh, 7.5 out of 10. Do you know what, I might bump this up to 8. Yeah, do you know what, I am. I'm going to bump that up to 8. It's now, although it's dropped from, from it was two years ago still a little bit, but it's now an 8 out of 10 beer for me. There you go. Um, you never know where these beer, these beer reviews are going to lead you, but there you go, it's uh, it's raised as it's score a little bit. So 8 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. A lot of you, it's another beer, a lot of you would have had this, so let me know what you think about this and Shepherd New in general. Uh, so yeah, comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff, wherever you're drinking. Please enjoy it. Oh yeah, please, for me. Uh, until next review. Cheers everybody.